Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. The first two games today. Uh, the first game, I was practicing for my underrated episode with the Mini Uzi. And I was using the ACOG with the grip. And oh my god, I was beasting that gun out. I was going 30 for zero. I wasn't recording because this was my practice. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. But, then, but I did end up with a 42 for six. That's bad. So it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But this game. Oh my god. Freaking hell. The Mini Uzi with Grip and Red Dot Sight is a beast. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. Not, this this should be a normal gameplay. This is not worthy. This is too good to, to be an underrated zero, series video. And yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting out a 50 for one gameplay on the underrated. And that is how you know the Mini Uzi is an underrated gun. If you go 50 for one in your second game of using it. Thank God help me if you use this gun all the time. You must completely destroy the enemy team. And I, I, I'm going to point out in this game, I could have gone much higher. I think I could have gone probably about 60 psych for one. Uh, because I get one of dogs, because I get noob tubed, my heli steals my kill, and then some guy runs around the corner just at the wrong moment, so I don't get my dogs. But you know, whatever. Oh, gosh, I'm, st I'm still going crazy about this game. I absolutely freaking love this one. Uh, I camp up here for two kills and I go down, so don't. I, if I camp, I will camp for two kills and then I run away. But yeah, seriously, guys, the mini Uzi. I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's as powerful as the AK 74U. It feels, it feels like the new AK 74U. Its fire rate is higher. It's more powerful. Not as accurate, granted, but shoving a grip on there, damn, it's a nice gun. And also, you have to use scavenger, otherwise, you know, you can't get. Any more, any kills more than like a six or seven kill streak. Oh my goodness! So I I'm just putting this out there. Is this the highest kill death ratio game recorded for the Wii? You know, 50 for one. <laughs> That's a 50.0. And I know, yeah, what do you call it? Hans 9021 Kefka, silly dance guy. Yeah, we all know. We don't all know him actually. Most of you sub guys know him. Um, he put out a video uh, a few a few days ago, and he went a hundred like no 99 for five. So that was oh let's just say that was a 20.0 ratio. I've more than doubled that. So sit down. 50 for one. Come on. Are you serious? With the mini Uzi. Who uses the mini Uzi? No one. Thank you for recommending this. I'm actually going to shout your name out. Okay, on my underrated what episode one, this g this guy called Muck Gangster Hands. Thank you very much for recommending me the Uzi. Well, it wasn't much of much of a recommendation. You want me to use it because it seems like a difficult gun and it's underrated. When actually, it is a beast. It is a pure beast. Look at it. Look at it. When you get kills in a kill feed, you know this is a beast gun. Look, look, kill feed. Wait, oh no, it lags here. No, that's not a kill. Don't worry. <laughs> but when you get a kill on the kill feed, or you get a multi strike, oh dear god. You, oh, it's a headshot. You can't even see the gun. Come on. Show me the freaking symbol in the bottom left hand corner. I want to see it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, oh my god. You know you're good when you get kills like that. You know you're good. Wait, I'm, that's too big headed. No. I'm just. No. You know this gun is good. <laughs> This gun is a beast, and I would have died there if that guy's claymore wasn't there, so thank you, I sergeant, whatever. You know, it's not, it's, this video is not about you, it's about the Mini Uzi. It's a fucking beast. Oh, this is crazy, I'm sorry, this, this commentary has no structure. This is like 10 minutes after I freaking videoed this. I am so freaking happy. Oh, I'm trying to refrain from swearing, you know. But, oh my goodness, the gun is a beast. I also get a 27 kill streak in this, which is two of my personal best, which is also kind of irritating. But it, in the end, I do kind of make myself go 50 for one because by the 47th kill, I was kind of shitting myself. If I die now, I've ruined a brilliant gameplay. So <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I'll be camping in that room at 49 for one, and I'll be like, oh shit, it's one of 50. One of 50. I've got to do something. I've got to do something. I just charge out. And I get my last kill and I run back to that room and hide. <laughs> oh my. This, this gun. This gun. Oh dear god. This gun is a beast. I, I, 
This, I don't recommend the sights. I, I looked at the sights in a private match and... Bleh, disgusting. You know how it is. You know when you get a gun with disgusting sights, you're just not going to use it. But yeah, guys, seriously, what is next on my list to do? What is next? You see, I'm thinking either G11 with telescopic sight. Uh, I reckon, I think that's a pretty underrated gun. Not the gun itself, but using that attachment on it. And I absolutely love that. And I think that would be absolutely epic. And also, Unseen Hero posted on my video, and he said, use the Dragonov. Uh, uh, I okay. This okay. This is what it's down to. It's either the Dragunov, you so you say Dragunov and what attachments? G11, uh, with variable scope or telescopic sights, or the Scorpion, and you name whatever you whatever. So it's out of those three guns, yeah. You tell me what I'm going to use and what attachments, and let's see if I can get this gameplay freaking again. Yes, but hopefully not Nuketown, because Nuketown does kind of take away the pure amazingness of this video. You see, I'm I, I'm not usually one of those guys who goes something for one or something for zero, or something for two even, or three or four. I I usually die in the five sixes. Yeah, for around five or six times, and then I'll get a um, pretty nice kill. Kills? Sorry, nice amount of kills. So I'm not I'm not one of those flawless guys. I can't go flawless. Find it pretty impossible. It's like another video I've got to upload today or tomorrow. I mean, I go 16 for free in search and destroy, and I was 8 for zero or 9 for zero, and I was actually trying to get this gameplay for Dead Aim because he wants some some flawless gameplay, and <laughs> you know me, I'm, I'm a bit a bit crazy, so I just decided to go go for it. I was like, fuck it, I'm going for 20 kills in this game, I'm going to try and get 20 for zero. But no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh god, Camper. He's, he's, he, was he using, no, he's using the RPK, I think. So no, he didn't take my advice of camping in the top corner with the HK-21. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I love that little walkway there, but I always seem to die up there for some reason. But not this game, because I go 50 for one. I should have got a triple spray. Don't even care. Should have got a triple spray. The amount of hit markers I got on him through the wall as well. So yeah, level 48. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, seriously. Freaking hell, guys. Remember, I'm like calling you out, and I've, I've got to see if you can do better than me with the mini user. You have to go better than 50 for one. There we go. And post this video response. I don't know how many of you watch me have capture cards or whatever. So just do that. And. Even if even if you haven't got it video, just tell me what you got in the bottom, in the comments. So yeah, guys, it is, the video is wrapping up here, and I do get one kill with the famous. I'm sorry. So even if it was 49 for one, it didn't make much difference. So we do actually dominate the enemy team, 200 for 64, and we had three players and they had five, but one of them le left before you could see. So yeah, guys. So don't forget to like and comment. That'd be great. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a. Search and destroy gameplay or a commando. I still haven't decided yet. So, see you then.